Howdy, folks. So I'm trying new stream settings. Let me know how this goes. Is everything is the volume okay? Is the video okay? Hopefully I won't encounter the same error as I did before, where Bandicam didn't record my audio. I, I know why it did that, and I've rectified that issue, hopefully. As in, I can literally see no reason why it shouldn't work. So I'm going to carry on. Starting Audacity. No. Also, for the record, mods. I will not be able to minimize this game once I start. Otherwise, the recording will end. And I do not have Steam open. I am offline because I am recording. I will be checking chat periodically, so if something comes up, the most efficient way will be to hmm, I suppose um, put it in chat until I notice hopefully nothing will come up though or nothing will come up I will 
get to episode, well, I will upload episode three, yes. Episode four is obviously a bust, although I do believe Son San has uploaded that to, I don't know the YouTube channel, but it should be there. And finding her via Tumblr should not be too difficult. So you can ask her for the information, I do not have it currently. Okay, let me see. Let me make sure I'm not muted, I shouldn't be. Yeah, okay. Starting the recording now. Well, more like, now. And slight frame tank on my part, I don't know if you got it. Okay, hitting the play in three, two, one, now. Actually, let me give myself a little more buffer. Pressing down in three, two, one, now. God damn it. I think I can use the arrows for that. I can't. That's a problem. Okay, hitting play in three, two, one, now. I was slightly ahead of the now. I need to keep that in mind when sinking. Alright, hitting start in three, two, one, now. I mean, your eyes, and the teeth, you're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Holly's sister, Lily. Do you even give a shit about us, the strays? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I don't know. Snow come around, she's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh God, Bigby! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. My envoys are correct. You haven't had a lot of rest recently.
please, Sheriff. Relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. We so are friends. Don't misunderstand the situation here. We are not friends. And you're in no position to offer me anything. On the contrary, Sheriff. And I don't wish to contradict you here. But your initiative and mine have been friendly for a long while now. Ever since I came aboard these shores. You know, Fable Town's been very accommodating of my humble ventures. Never said a bad word. And that relationship's worked till these ends. That was Crane who let you do whatever you wanted. I'm not Crane. No, you're not. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. The you're town. destroying this town. You've been doing it for ages. Destroying this town? What on earth do you mean? What the hell do you think I mean? Slavery? Kidnapping? Extortion? Murder? What would you call the wholesale corruption of Fabled Town? I would call it the baseless accusation of a desperate sheriff. How are you certain this isn't some conspiracy against me? I'm a well-connected man. Well-moneyed. People do like to take their shots at me. Don't try to play me. It won't work. I'm not trying to control you. I have no need for treachery, Bigby. I do everything right out in the open. But I can understand the confusion. And I'm truly sorry about the trouble all this has caused you. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you, and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself further. An unfortunate bit of business? You're gonna tell me right now who killed him? Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I am Twiddledee, horrible, right? please. He's not going to leave, so just give him up, all right? No! If he thinks he's going to come in here, act all tough, and we're just going to... That's enough! I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie... You got what you wanted, so just... Sit. Down. Now. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Mm. Georgie. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Yes, the fact it is... Does. George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. That you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And you then told attempt me to, to kill blame me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis! You're just gonna let him do this! So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? 
You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. any trouble, Georgie. Are you seriously throwing me under deal the fucking carriage no after everything I've done for you? No deals. It's over, so get up. I'd advise against that approach, Bigby. You can't just hand me over! What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us! For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'd give a fuck if I'm the one... Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? I told you! I'm not going anywhere. This could have gone so well. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Really? Hello. <laughs> Did I Let's miss party. anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. <laughs> It was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Way to go.
should have gone for him. Take him off! I can't! A minute. Okay. How did this happen, Georgie? How can you stand up? <clears throat> it's okay. Take your time. Slowly. <clears throat> oh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. Or it won't be your fault. senses. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. If you're any protected, don't know what you're doing. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking- mean... ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf, too! You know I didn't have a goddamn choice! What the fuck? I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that! Look, I'm Sometimes just... you just have to do what you're told! Then it comes back to bite you in the ass because some good-for-nothing crooked bastard decides you're not worth shit anymore! Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Look! Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. Big boss. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. The both of you can go rot in hell. George, you think I'm the one to fucking blame? That's not what I meant. I was just... That's not my problem. Oh, I get it. When a pretty little girl shows up at your door wanting help, you've got all the time in the world. But when I've got something to say, it's not your problem. <laughs> well, fuck you. 
Go ahead and kill me then, but it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Nerissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. No, it's not. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. Coming here, talking about options. Like it was that simple. I would have lost everything. All of it. So maybe I did have a choice. But it wasn't fucking worth it. What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me. If Free and Lily meant she had to die. Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you. You don't know the fuck about anything. What are you talking about? This is the original. Original. The girl life. with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers. The spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. I know that. But did it have to be like this? Wait, so you've been helping this asshole? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand. Nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were gonna be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the Crooked Man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. What the fuck are you supposed to do then? We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches Don't can... Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. I wasn't really- Just shut up. What makes you think you can just- I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian. I didn't mean- Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them? Vivian, wait, I- Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian, don't- <laughs> oh. Vivian! No! Fuck! No, 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 no! Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! Vivian! I didn't fucking mean it! I was just... Oh! Get up. Get up! Don't think so, Bigby. Well... I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, alright? <laughs> 